Advent is a time of waiting for the coming of the Lord. Not passive waiting, putting in time. No, this is a time of active waiting, a time of preparation to celebrate the coming of Christ as a baby in Bethlehem, his first coming, Christmas. In order to prepare well, we decorate our homes, we buy gifts for loved ones, we prepare special foods for a grand meal, and we attend to the special needs of those in our community who struggle, offering time and talent and treasure so that no one is forgotten. All can celebrate. Advent is also a time to prepare for the second coming of Christ on the clouds at the end of time, when, as we read in the book of Revelation, every eye will see him. It is a time to make a serious assessment of our lives to determine what needs to change. Because as we profess in the Apostles' Creed, I believe he will come again to judge the living and the dead. We prepare for this second coming. And Advent is a time to prepare for the coming of Christ into our lives. When celebrating Mass at a local jail on Christmas Eve a few years ago, I was struck by the awareness that the fundamental message at Christmas is God comes to us. He reveals himself to us in a way that we can welcome him. He comes as a baby, innocent, vulnerable, needy. So we prepare to welcome him whenever, wherever, and however he shows himself to us. Christ always shows us the way, how to live our lives more fully, more freely, more joyfully. Earlier this year, we watched the generosity and courage of doctors, nurses, and other healthcare providers, public healthcare professionals, and first responders. They spent long hours day after day, week after week, for months to care for people who contracted the coronavirus, while at the same time caring for others with other serious, even life-threatening illnesses. We saw in that kind of self-sacrifice the presence of the healing Christ who gave all that we might have life and have it to the full. During this Advent season, I encourage you to keep your eyes open so you might recognize Christ at work in your community, in the hospitals, in the schools, in your parishes, in the homeless shelters, in the jails, in your own homes. And when you recognize him, spread the good news. There he is. You will see him feeding the hungry, welcoming the stranger, visiting the sick, clothing the naked. We call these good works corporal works of mercy. And he reminds us that when we do that to the little ones of his, we do it to him. Advent is about preparing for an encounter with Christ. At his first coming as a child in Bethlehem, at his second coming on the clouds at the end of time, and into our hearts when he will surprise us with the experience of his overwhelming love.